<laughs> oh, man. That was someday yesterday, buddy. So much news. I can't believe, believe that. Oh, <laughs> hi, guys. Hey, uh, hold that back. Uh, me and Ethan were just talking about the big news that dropped the, uh, the other day. Day. We won't talk about it because, obviously, we need to say something for our save point this week, but, uh, this video is not about that. This video is about upcoming coverage for the channel, uh, on a certain game, in particular, uh, uh, and some news on, well, our job status, like I said, we keep you guys updated and posted, and I got some good news to deliver to you in terms of when we'll be turning to our jobs. Yeah. All right. So, um, um, uh, first things first. I'll let Ethan speak about. Oh, and we have to talk about our anime showdown. Unfortunately. All right. Well, uh, why don't you get the anime showdown out of the way first? Okay, so those of you wondering when we're going to do our Dragon Ball bet, unfortunately, we might have to either, well, say, let's combine with this, postpone, delay. Let's just say both. To the further notice, reason why that is, because Pandemic, everybody knows Pandemic. Well, obviously, it's not because of Kirk. It is part of that, but it isn't the main reason. No. It is the emotionally part. Yeah. Yeah, me and Ethan don't uh don't feel like it would be a good idea to really do do a bet why this pandemic is going on and why that would be a good thing for you guys emotionally. Me and Ethan, Ethan, Ethan have been a little bit on the edgy edgy side, so we really don't feel like it's a good idea dear, at the moment. That's not because th that we don't want to do it. We still want to do it. Of course. It's just that we want ourselves to be happy about it, not just depressed at this the same time. You, it, you know how this goes, guys. Yeah, yeah. So we're just postponing it until further notice. That doesn't mean it's not going to happen, though. So, though, me and Ethan will let you guys know ASAP when uh, Cultural Clues Channel launches, uh, launches when me and Ethan will be resuming our bet. Uh, uh, resuming our bet. Of course, you obviously know the obvious score. Ethan won, me Zelcho. Yep, I'm one piece bet. Lucky you. <laughs> it was a long run. It was a long time. But I'll be honest with you guys. What's kind of even funny too, you guys will be a little surprised. And not really. The first time I know about the anime, I thought I wasn't going to like it at first. Because it's so long and it decides. Everybody has those biased tastes. Well, I had that biased taste at the time. I try to give myself a chance. So, what happens then? I watch a bit of it, and then for some reason I was like, you know what, I'm starting to like it a bit more because of the characters, and emotionally, I just like when they develop the characters, you know? Yeah, yeah, like you didn't give the Ratchet and Clank movie a chance. That's different. That's a difference. Mm. You don't know what the difference is? All right, all right, all right, I'll cut you some slack on me because... Cut as you have grown up with it, but still. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, okay, save that until after this video's this video because we don't want the fans to go, hey, hey, give some, give some Ethan in a slack. <laughs> I don't blame you guys, but don't no worries about it. Uh, either way, way though, know, yeah. Sadly, the uh, anime showdown is. Shut down for the time being until me and Ethan feel like we're comfortable comfortable to do it again. We'll, like I said, once Culture Clues Central launch, launches next month, we will let you guys know know when the anime showdown is back on. Correct. Uh, okay, so the second thing. You guys probably already saw it, but uh, my, I Hear Academia, shockingly, two nights ago... We're talking about My Hero, My Hero... One's Justice 2 game. Yep. Uh, or My Hero Academia One Justice 2, as it's called in Japan. You could call it that because I don't mind it. Uh, yeah. I don't get why you just call it My Heroes, My Heroes One Justice over here. Makes no sense. You're telling me. <laughs> uh, but anyways, ways, uh, they released, up, released an update. No big deal. Deal just to fix some bugs. And add a whole English dub, dub to it on top of it. No, I'm not lying. I'm seriously not lying. Lying. 
Fine. You don't believe me? Yes. So, okay, guys. Let's just say, as you guys, if you didn't catch that my reaction video, you'll see in the card right up here someplace that we were talking about. There is a card for checking up that video when you guys have a chance. But um, I was there in that, that time when the announcement happened. Even though there was no official, official counts actually announced it. It was official, not an actor actually announced it. Just the, not, just the actor announced it first. Before everybody else knows about it. Which makes sense because they're involved. But if you're saying, oh, it's just a mod and stuff. Oh, okay. So you want to call this a mod then? My hero wants justice too. Do you see the game? Do you hear what they said? Still don't believe me? It's going to the main menu. You can relive the story again. That that proof that it's not fake. Fake. There's only one person that can do that voice. Yes. Well, outside of the Japanese version of it, Deku. Uh, and that's Justin Manor. Yeah, which is the actor for Deku, by the way. He's an English dub actor for. Kind of like, think of it as Sean Schmel acts for Goku. Think of that, guys. Exactly. So I wouldn't lie on that. That me and Ethan, Ethan were, let's say, say the least, both surprised and shocked. Yes. Okay. Maybe at first I was like, that. I was like, hey, show me proof. And then I looked and I hear it. It was like, Baggy Goes voice. I was like, you serious? I recognize that voice someplace. Uh, exactly. I so, felt glad I was there when it first announced. I felt glad I was there. And I didn't find out until that morning when I woke up, up that Ethan posted a video about it. About, out and I had to look it up for myself to make sure I, it, it was not fake. Fake too. And I was like, wait, but I never actually did it? it? The reason why me and Ethan are so surprised, especially with this one, is because the first game, My Heels One Justice, it was not dubbed. Yup. At all. Yup. That's not because it's popular enough. That's not it. Exactly. They just didn't probably feel like using the budget. But strangely enough for this one, one day Surprise dropped us up. This was an update that added a dub. Dub. That's unexpected. There's going to be a few reasons why they did this. I think I just put my theories out. Me and him. Let's put it a little speculation why they did this. Okay, so... It's either for one of three reasons. Yes, yes. I'll, I can say one. You can say one yourself. Alright, so one, it could be... They realize that a lot of people really love the English dub more than the Japanese dub. Kind of like Dragon Ball. That could be that reason. But you have a reason. Second, the success of Season 4 and the movie. Uh, movie. Now, that's not, not to say that My Hero Academia wasn't successful before. That's, no, no. no. Uh, it's just that in recent times, times that this one has gone on to not only sell, uh, uh, not only sell, sell that good and get a second encore run. Run, wow. run, right before all the feet is closed. But on top of that, that it outsold the first movie, movie of My Hero Academia, which is My Hero Academia two heroes. Yup, we both did see it together one time. Exactly. So to see it, not oh, only top that one, that probably, uh, uh, fought, made Brandon and Nemico fight. Ah, screw it. Ugh, let's do it. Uh, uh, and then, the recent success of the season four anime, and the fact that everybody was so hyped about season five, and Deku was actually trending on Twitter, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Reason how he's trended? Okay, guys. Spoiler alert. Get out now. 
I don't want to spoil you all for the season four. You might want to jump out of here for a second, because this is a spoiler. Yeah, I'll leave a timestamp stamp below here to jump jump to the part where the spo or spoiler ends. Uh, and so that way you guys don't get spoiled. But if you don't mind spoilers, well, if you get if you complain, don't say we warned you. I'm even gonna put it in big letters. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, go ahead, buddy. All right. So what I'm gonna say is, reason how he's been trended. A lot of people say he's a goat. Reason how he's a goat, because just because the one fight between Deku versus. Overall, which is a main villain for the season four, and guess how it happened? He went full cowing, one hundred percent. Reason how he got to that limit? Of course, he's got limits. One for Eri, she can redo. She can actually just. She's not a type of healing character. It's not healing. It's more of a her core can actually like reverse the effect. And Deku's reversing his effect of getting hurt. Like, he already uses so much power, he's gonna break his bones. So, she can actually redo that kind of effect. When Deku uses so much power, he had to put through for his one for all quirk. So, I get the better understanding how this happened. So, in the people, I noticed something. Deku almost looked like. Two versions I think of the anime characters. Goku, Super Saiyan, a bit of it. I know those of you guys don't think so, but I personally think so. And the other one is, I know this look back, I was like, oh, Rock Lee going to his A gate, inner gate. Okay, okay, I can see those references, but other than that, and he beats overall so hard, he is gone. Nuts! He's just a beast in that form. Exactly why he was trending on Twitter. And that's a vanity for most animes nowadays. A vanity! And this kind of actually reminds me back, like, when Goku gets to his Super Saiyan form the first time against Frieza. It's actually memorable like that, in my personal opinion. Alright. For those who jumped, jump to this part of the video. Video? Ew, sorry about that. That <laughs> didn't mean I uh, didn't uh, mean to uh, almost drop a spoil on you for those who didn't see season four. But me and Ethan uh, wanted to give you a big warning at a time because this one was a big spoiler. And hopefully they get to that time step bed that where they didn't hear the spoiler. Yeah, if you accidentally did, apologies, apologies. But we warned you. <laughs> uh, if you skipped over it, woo! Good, because me and Ethan actually want you to see this for yourself. This is something so, something that you have to see for yourself. <laughs> and personally, guys, I already watched all the way through with Season 4, if you didn't know. Even if there's last two Japanese sub. That's because it's still legit to the story, no matter what, with, with language. So, yeah. So, that is the second reason we think that Blade and Nanko did the dub. That because the C... And the dub was so successful with the fans that, hey, they said, eh, I mean, they're stuck in quarantine anyways, we might as well. Uh, third reason, reason, uh, they were satisfied with the sales of My Hero Academia, Damia wants Justice 2. And not only that, there's another reason to it too. Even though the first one kind of went a little, if, if, <clears throat> but they decided to do the sequel because they could see People still love him anime up to this day. And another reason is they can see how it induced all well the first time because English, English dubs, so they decided they don't want this to fail. So they have to make a decision and say, okay, that's it. Put English dub. This will help us. It, that's how that works. It, exactly. But why so late? Late though. The game's been out for three months. Yes, yes, yes. But wait, this is June, and it was in February, was it? Uh, no, it was in March. Yeah, that's a good point. It is three months. So, why now, Bandai? Why now? Why not after launch? Uh, after launch, like, maybe a month later. Yeah, I have no idea, guys. Maybe, maybe they just thought that 
that it wasn't going to do well. That's why they didn't do that. Because they didn't think that's going to help them that much. They clearly don't know, know anime fit, fit and that well. Well, and that should be, be a testimony to say I've licensed to many anime games. Either that, that, or they just did it randomly. I don't get, get it either way, but hey, I'm not going to look a see, give Seahorse in the mouth. Mouth, yeah, I'll walk him a dub. He was hoping that One Piece gets a dub on some of their games. <laughs> Cop I Warriors! Uh, Cop Warp Seeker! <laughs> some people actually love the dub, but for me, if I'm being honest as an anime fan, okay, I may have a little... some biased ways that I like it Japanese more than English. I give it English a chance. I actually did. It's just that I look at both sides. I felt like Japanese did better. But not all animes are worse with English. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I personally prefer the dub, but I'm not gonna yell at you, even if you prefer the sub, sub, sub. We don't debate much on this cha channel and behind the scenes, unless it's usually game. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, that's that's just some speculation of why we thought they did this. But either way, it was just a unexpected surprise, like a out of the blue surprise, something that Nintendo themselves would do. Yes, and. And while I was in the reaction video last night, to remind you, a little recap, I'll be honest with myself, I, I, good thing I was there the time when they announced it, there in that one night, at midnight, I was there for that announcement. Yeah. Not, not, the, not like they announced it, like a video, I was there just to see the trend. Yeah. Before the trend starts. Exactly. 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 And it actually got a lot of people to buy the game. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even lying on that. A lot of people said they were buying the game because of it. Actually, be right back. I think it'd be best for me to show you the the tweets and videos. You'll see how many likes and re, re, retweets they are. It's no joke. And give me a second. And MC, go ahead and just tell them what I, what you. We, actually, no, no, no. It's right here. Duh. Okay, so for now, let me go get that, get those tweets up, because I've been doing a lot of tweeting about English dubs. And not only that, one civic character hasn't speak English yet. So get ready, get your mind blowing when you see it. That would be, uh, let's see. I just, just try to cover what I say. Just keep it says, Nintendo Switch and my hero wants justice to cover the what I said, except for the blue blue words. Cover that when you're showing to them. <sighs> okay. Here, let me help. I got it. I don't think they can see it. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, no, I could try with them. Actually. If you just uh, s uh, send a screenshot to me of it, yes, and I'll pop it up. Uh, uh, sorry, but I don't got to block your face for a second. And this is what Ethan was talking about. Yes, to cover. Yes, to cover what I say because that's not a bit kid friendly. If I'm being honest, not all of it is. Some of it, actually, most of it, it is. But one word is not for you guys. That's why we have to cover one thing out of the way. Yeah. So, all right. So I'll pop up that screenshot with the word blurred, of course. Of course. Of course. And see? Told you. See a lot of those tweets right now? That's because people are so desperate. They've been waiting for this moment. They've been waiting for it. And that's how big it is. Just like Deku in one season. That's why me and Ethan, uh, that's why me and Ethan was so caught off guard. That's not something Bandai Namco would normally do. Do because if you've been paying attention to most of the recent games, the only ones they've ever done for are uh, uh, One Punch Man, which is surprisingly before the lunch. And I was like, I was, I was thinking to myself like, how can they get that first? Then my Yogedemia did. Doesn't make any sense. And then Dragon Ball, but that well, one... Dragon Ball—that's obvious because 
People know it's a popular series. On top of that, most of the voice actors are also video game characters that we've also known. So is Naruto. Naruto is obvious as well. So, so no offense. Yeah. So, but One Piece isn't. In fact, they... Shh, get ready for this. They actually started back up the dub. No, I'm not lying. I'm dead serious about this one, too. Too. I'll even, le even link to Foundation Asian's article below if you totally don't believe me. Because I was uh, just as shocked. Sword Online also doesn't get a dub through for the games as well. They did an anime, not for games. Is exactly, exactly. So this one is out of the blue, out of the blue, like I said. But yeah. So you're probably wondering if we're talking about this. That means that video, I, those videos I've been talking about, are related to that game. Yes. Uh, My Academia is One Justice 2 is what Ethan's going to be practicing off-screening and recording for you guys. Guys, um, it probably is not going to come out up until midday today because, well, in case you didn't already see my tweet earlier, yeah, it looks like I'm going to be busy. Yep. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm going to have to be laser-focused on most of the uh, uh, presentations today because I got IGN, I got The Escapist, Yep. Uh, what else do I have? Hmm. Was it IGN and uh, PlayStation? Uh, IGN, The Escapist, and PlayStation to cover today. Oh, I'm gonna have to pay attention to the PlayStation one, cause this is important for my purchase and the customer customer perspective. So I'm gonna have to pay attention to that more. I notice. Exactly. Cause but, this could determine my purchase future. Exactly. What are even buys it? Well, he can't buy it on launch, unfortunately, due to this. But what if he buys it next year? Oh, he waits like me. Yeah, so this is kind of important for me to pay attention to that Sony's presentation because this could determine my purchase decision. And sadly, sa sadly, if you are uh, patterns are true, which I hope they are, please. But yeah, please get me an MC wrong, please, because I'd rather be wrong than be right. Yeah. Yeah, because if that's true, then that's tr then the UI is going to be just us. PlayStation 4 2.0 UI. I in menu, uh, in the ways in the menu. And I'm probably going to get yelled at this for. Well, for me, I wouldn't have a problem with that. The only uh, bias towards 2 is the console look. Yeah. That's the only bias I have. Uh, it, I just feel like the. And I'm being honest. No, no, it's okay to be honest. Uh, the PlayStation menu UI is just. Yeah. Now, I'm not trying to say that Xbox isn't Chucky either, but personally, if I'm going to be honest, between PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3, mm -hmm. I prefer PlayStation 3's menu. Yes. What about you, bud? Yeah, with those menus, PlayStation 3 and uh, PlayStation 4, they both look the same, I noticed. But a different sound effects. But um, to me, I didn't mind either. Hey, uh, that's your personal opinion. I'm not going to yell. No, 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 uh, no, it's fine. Uh, but either way, yeah, I just hope it isn't or it's just going to be PlayStation uh, PlayStation 4 or 2.0. At least let it be smoother is all I ask. Yes. Uh, oh, and uh, by the way, while you're at it, Sony, make sure the Wi-Fi works better because me and Ethan have had more disconnects on that, that, that than our actual internet disconnecting us. And this is coming from someone who owns a Nintendo Switch, which, which has probably some of the worst internet actual service than the actual internet disconnection. But what what I mean by that is is guys, as is that Sony's PlayStation, yes, even the Pro Pro has a problem disconnecting to the internet. I've been disconnected several times with Wi Fi. Now before you say use an Ethernet cable easy for you to say Say you don't, uh, yeah, you don't have a. Uh, I would if I had a port in my room. Uh, and Ethan doesn't have one at home, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to extend a long cable that he could possibly trip over over onto his PlayStation 4. That's just too much trouble. It's because you guys, you guys don't realize how trouble it is. It could be trouble like a TV cable, so you know. Exactly. And what if Ethan actually trips over his PlayStation 4? Oof! I wouldn't be happy about it. So, guys, keep this in mind. Think of it like like a TV cable, like with my. Well, okay, I think I'll spoil a little story, I guess. 
since it is related to this, I guess I'll my I don't mind spo say about a little story there. I'm not gonna explain too much for the better. Okay, so anyway, my little story I can tell you is that my dad, who I live with right now, my folks, <laughs> my folk, I mean. So anyway, so I have a story with that is when my dad was going trust with his company called Comcast. You guys should know who Comcast is. I bet you guys back at your your place, TV cables like Xfinity or Comcast, we're going to talk about the customer's service, how bad the service is. So, why well, I remember, back when I was younger, say that we give them the chance and that we wanted the cable to bury underneath the ground. But guess what? They say they were going to do it, but they did not. So... That gave us the trouble because of that. The cable was on the line. On the line. And we could see it. And we can see it. And, and, and on top of that, that probably made it hard for Ethan to even mow his line. Yes, or, he, or my dad, by the way. Or his, or his dad, even, even when he wasn't around. And that's just trouble on a half. So... That's how bad this relates to. That's why I said this relates to what we're talking about with e-cable. Yeah, if e even if we could plug one in, and I would totally do it because it has been, it seems to be the faster option. Option, unfortunately, there's two problems with that. One, my mom, my mom and dad have uh, still using a regular tele, uh, a wireless phone, so I can't. Uh, that would be using up our only wireless wireless line that we have, and we can't add another because that would just be too much for our uh, package package that we currently use for internet. Uh, well, on AT and T, by the way, just so you know. Uh, uh, but second, secondly, secondly, I just don't fi fi uh, think it should be a viable option. Sony shouldn't really be that cheap, cheap, cheap. If the Wi-Fi, ch if I dare say. The Wi-Fi chip, chip for the PlayStation 4, Pro, and Slim. I hate to say it, but it's worse than even Xboxes. I've had less disconnections with Xbox, Xbox because of the service, service rather than than it being being the internet itself. That should tell you how bad it's been. Yup. Uh, so, and even you can give votes for that, because he's been disconnected several times while he's here playing games, and we've had several disconnections with live streams because the internet just went out. Yes, and that's kind of making more trouble. This could trouble with the other customers, too. You guys, well, guys, thinking about the budget, too, you guys don't realize about the budget situation as well. So, it's it, not because we're not rich. That's not because of that. And we would totally do it if we could. But we just can't, can't, can't. There's just too much viability, and on top of that, top of that, at the uh, uh this, that's a basic system functionality at this point. But like the Wi-Fi chip should be pretty decent, De decent. If it isn't, it's usually your internet, net or the service itself. And I can tell you right now, since I the Switch internet, I can completely say for sure it sucks. Just look at Smash Brothers. Uh, and I know for a fact that Xbox Live Gold, I mean, yes, it's gone down, but that's mainly because of everybody being in quarantine and playing the Xbox more. more. So, of course, the service would be down more. more. Right. I have to blame it on the system this time because there's been a lot more issues issues with PlayStation 4 for, for that, I mean, even that personally occurred than us. And before you say it's our units... I dare you to go look it up and see if anybody else has not had this problem. Problem because, yeah, even if you say maybe you're uploading the video, blah. Uh, another thing too, just to, just from my perspective, want to say to you, don't say, do not say that's an excuse. Excuse talk, cause I don't tolerate those those words. Because that's not an excuse. It's the facts. Exactly. I've uh, me. Uh, I've even had it where I'm just. Normally, and I'm not even uploading a video. Normally, just blasting the store, and it just disconnects on me. Yup, he's giving you the facts. I'm giving you the facts too. That's why I put my latest story with it because it relates to what we're talking about. So, needless to say, say I want Sony to do a little bit better. I get it; the system's already going to be expensive, but 
If you're gonna gonna make me it even worth our while, at least make it be a better experience with Wi-Fi than the PlayStation 4 for a guy. So otherwise, me and Ethan are just gonna be super skeptical about buying this. Buying this if your launch lineup isn't looking good. And what do you think? Why I say I prefer the old Sony days up to this days. I kept saying it to MC all the time. I prefer the old Sony days. Even the PlayStation 3, I dare say, had better Wi-Fi. Yeah, that, and that's saying something. Because this system has been freezing on Ethan a lot. That's well, because somebody else, we, they, someone used, was using a lot due to, you know, what game? You know those of uh, adults or younger kids these days play the mature game called Call of Duty. Yeah, he had a lot on there. A lot. <laughs> but yeah, that should say tell you how much trouble me and Ethan have been having if the PlayStation 3, 3 Sony's previous system and the first one to have Wi-Fi capabilities, abilities, doesn't have any trouble at all, and yet the PlayStation 4, 4, 4 has several disconnection problems. Come on, man. Come on. That's, that's just, sorry. Sorry for getting a little derailed, but... Uh, it happened, uh, uh, it occasionally happens on the Go Gamers. Uh, occasionally. So, I apologize. Yeah, me too, because I had to speak the truth along with it, because I noticed the truth actually does relate to my story. That's why I have to speak it out. Yeah. Uh, uh, and apology, apologies to the Sony fans if you've had a different experience, and lucky you guys. You guys. Uh, that, uh, then it really is just either our area or... Our Systems ourselves, cells, but I highly doubt it because a lot of other people have had a had pretty much the same problem. <laughs> so yeah. And by the way, Sony fanboys, boys, you're gonna be blocked anyway, way, ways, because uh, we have a no t uh, a no fanboy rule here on the channel. So <laughs> don't bring your uh, hey, Microsoft fanboys. Uh, up to my face. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, this is why I don't tolerate those either. Yeah. I even had an experience with that on Twitter once. Ed. Which kind of makes me upset. Exactly. Well, that's good that I had an experience with that. I actually did different sides of the, like a company size, like Nintendo, Sony. I did a little bit of Microsoft there, there I was a kid. Yeah. Not, not like all the time my own end, just with my friends. Yeah, uh, but either way, way personal, personally, personally, there's a lot that's making or breaking the system. I'm not trying to doubt the games or the quality, quality, but it seems like Sony was lacking on the service side a lot. Yes, and the UI definitely needs to be work, work, working, working. On top of that, up of that, make sure that this time when the you when the apps, uh, video apps come, that they're on the menu instead of a separate one. That's Absolutely ridiculous! It is ridiculous. <sighs> that is so ridiculous. Ugh. I'm sorry, guys. It's clear that I I do really do love the games, but so, some of Sony's modern decisions are just. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. That's what I say. I prefer the old Sony days. PlayStation two days. PlayStation one days. Even I didn't grow up with it. PlayStation three days. I thought it was like PlayStation four days, but it's actually more better than. The PlayStation 4's reputation. Not the worst reputation. Sales are great. That's obvious the sales are going to do great. It's too obvious. You know why I said it's obvious? Because of one series. COD. That's what. Well, there's a lot of other factors into that too, but... No, no, no. I know, I know. But I'm just saying, I see them more than the other perspective. Fair, 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 fair. Big I experience with my friends, so... Oh, duh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but yeah. So again, sorry for derailing the conversation a little. Uh, but okay. So what were we talking about now? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, the last thing thing that we were gonna talk about, and that's about our jobs. Well, that kind of relates me more than him. So possibly I might be going back to work next month. At the end of next month, so that's briefly about me. So I'll probably be back to work soon. Unfortunately, though, it might not not be be a straight schedule uh, schedule because I 
the, the retail store I work at is actually a resale shop, so I might go in and out odd days. But as for Ethan, I got good news and bad news. Good news! I'm basically coming back. Bad news. This is his last week here, here at my place. Yep, and see you guys along with that. Well, well, it's not like, not like Ethan's completely leaving the go gamers. That's not no, like... no, not like, not like we have somebody in our our channel works with us is like that. It's uh, uh, exactly so. Unfortunately, fortunately, Ethan's gonna be going on back to work. So this is truly, truly one of his very last videos that he's gonna be appearing with me together for probably a very, very, very long time time because his summer schedule is usually very busy. It is. So, it's going to be back to the good old weekend day, uh, weekend days until he hangs out again, until we're able to see each other again. So, I won't see him for a whole week starting Monday next week. But, even wanted to surprise you guys with one final live stream possibly this week, and that would be of MBL The Show 20. So, oh, yeah, look forward to that. Probably gonna be tomorrow at mm -hmm. some point. Point. I'll probably be busy doing. Uh, I'll probably be a little bit busy doing the uh, coverage for the um, news for gaming. So um, I'm gonna be mainly out, and this is gonna be all Ethan. Yeah. So just to give you a heads up, a hint. This could be the same thing. What we have to do with Rocket League because I can't see the chat and play the game at the same time. It's not because I really not see the chat. It's just easier for me, my perspective. I focus better work for that. I can use my phone to see the chat, like I did last time with Rocket League. Exactly. Exactly. That doesn't mean going forward we're going to be doing that. It's just that for this uh, last one, since this is going to be NBL the show. Show, show. Ethan would probably prefer us both being on the screen. Now I'm probably going to be using my headphones to watch the events then so I won't be paying attention as much to you guys so just know I'll be busy in the background but uh, Ethan will be fo totally focused with you guys on the game and and talking to you guys in chat I just won't be able to mm, I just won't be able to wa watch chat as much because I still got so uh, I still got yeah uh, news coverage to do. and not only that just a heads up I might pause there and there just because as to see you guys chatting so don't say, don't say, I pause it and it's boring. Not, I'm, don't don't say that because I'm trying to pay attention to you guys and the game at the same time. If I have seen no check going on, I'll play briefly. Yeah. Uh. Uh. But yeah, I will be, be popping in and out of the chat just to see if anybody says any comments. Uh. But um. Yeah. Uh. Just so you guys know. No. But yeah, that does mean that this week is sadly Ethan's last week. It's been a pretty long two and a half mo months. Yes, you heard me. Two. Well, well, close to three months, by the way. Yeah, close to three months. Months. Um, Ethan's been here since March. Mid March, yes. So it's been a long, 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 uh, long adventure with him. Kind of sad to see it end soon. Yep. But hey, it was gonna happen eventually. Eventually, so I mean, I mean, he was. Probably, I always said that he's probably gonna go back to work sooner than I will because I work in retail. Yep. So yeah, but um, you have any thought, uh, anything to say, buddy? Uh, in case they don't see us at the game of save point. Yep, I can say. So guys, I'll be honest with you. That was a great adventure that I could tell you like. The, the game will I'll be busy with you guys was Final Fantasy said the remake and it's a good thing I briefly talk about my goals is during this pandemic was definitely platinum Final Fantasy said the remake and that that commitment was worth it I found that commitment was worth it and also just keep in mind reason why I want to platinum the game because I thought that was one of my favorite PlayStation 4 games I experienced. It's not just to say Horizon Seal Dawn is one of them. Don't say that. I just go buy the fair games that I love to platinum. Exactly. And that's not to say that Ethan would normally do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure he wants to do his Persona 5 too, too. But the problem is, as I said, said Ethan usually works. Works and has to do college. So he gets distracted. 
distracted very frequently. He's the most social of us in real life because he has a lot more friends than I do. I, I do nowadays, so... Well, in real life. Uh, so, unfortunately, he's got a lot of distractions. This one was one of the very few times, and I mean very few times, that he could actually buckle down and completely focus. Exactly. Room for that, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to play them a couple games. Okay, so think of it as a history right now. Yes, if you guys saw my profiles, is Awakening M50, I bought them two Telltale games. Wasn't it too obvious? Technically, those don't count. Count if the, the internet's anything to go by. Or go by. So technically, this is Ethan's truly first platinum game. Exactly. That's the point. I don't mind the point because I agree with that point. Because no offense, it's the easiest game to platinum. You don't even actually have to work hard for them. Plus, Spiral, you do. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Ethan beats Final Three in this lockdown. Uh, 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 finally. Although he's probably not gonna go back back to one of those mini games again. <laughs> you know which one in particular, particular if you listen to the live stream. But yes, Ethan finally did. Uh, just so you guys know, for those who did say I would keep them updated on that, Ethan did platinum Final Three, 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 uh, of the Ignite Trilogy, which means he's officially being the Ignite Trilogy. Yup. Now, when I go back to play Spar 1 again, actually, I'll just go casually like I did when I was a kid. Yep, whenever he feels like it. Not only that, but, well, oh, you could say this one didn't get... You could say that, unfortunately, like mo most, most times on Holiday Blake, <sighs> the game companies didn't get away way with uh, grabbing a little more extra money out of our wallets. Unfortunately, me and Ethan scrimmed to several things. Yep. Things. Oh, uh, with the PSP. Well, thankfully, I managed to get it uh, custom firmware on it. Uh, on it. Thank goodness the tutorials online, or otherwise I'd be completely messed up. Yep. I almost break the system if I didn't know what to do. So that was very, very close to say mm -hmm. the least. Uh, but in the, uh, but anyways, being completely serious with you guys. I almost thought that we, uh, 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 I almost thought that we were gonna have to fork over money for PlayStation PSP games, but after finding out, I know about the custom firmware way back before then, 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 because I knew this around the time of the DSi and 3DS, 3DS, I knew the PSP could be hacked. Uh, I was like, oh wait, it can be hacked. Hacked. Let's see if I can still do it, do it with some on, on an update. Right. And, and I managed to do it, so. I managed to get some PSP game, games off the internet, and ta-da! Now, now we basically uh, can get any game we want, and me and Ethan don't even have to fork over a single cent. Well, of course, I did with uh, Fuel Commander. That's because I'm trying to review myself what I played back when I was a younger kid. So I'm trying to get back to my true self. I'm using my past self to my advantage. Exactly. Uh, another, uh, another thing is, well, Ethan is going to be, uh, Ethan unfortunately got a couple more physical games. What? You really think we, I said, Ed, you really think we go through this pandemic without buying one single game other than the new ones coming out? Yes. Yeah, yes, sadly mistaken, unfortunately. Me and, e uh, me and Ethan are too big of gamers to not pass up a deal. Not that that's anything new if you're a gamer. Uh, so... He did get Man Eater physically. Unfortunately, he'll have to give that copy away because he was, once again, forced to get it digitally, just like with Pirate Warriors. Well, the Pirate Warriors, that's kind of a slide a bit because I didn't know this pandemic will happen. Yeah, that one's, and... that one's kind of a slide, sadly. But I did use that Toad's Persona, so I'm not complaining. Uh, but unfortunate, fortunately, Man Eater... It took GameStop a while to ship it. So I kind of learned that the uh, indie games. Well, I thought it is an indie game at first because it didn't look like an indie. Yeah, it didn't look like an indie, but it. Uh, Man Eater is developed by a pretty, po uh, from what I've known, a pretty well-known team. Team, but they haven't developed from what Ethan told me in 15 years. It's called Tri uh, Tripware Interactive. They actually did Killing Floor 2. Is it? Exactly. So, 
Um, it's been a while, while, so I would figure they're either shipping directly from the offices or, or they're, yeah, the shipping, shipping's coming from GameStop themselves, and they were just waiting for the copies to come in. Uh, so, needless to say, unfortunately, fortunately, it got here a little later than Ethan expected, right after he beat the game too, and Ethan was just like, come on! Yeah, I know. I was like getting the game. I was expecting it. I don't mind a day later after the launch. I don't mind that. If it's just too further than that, why do I waste my time? <sighs> that was a bit of a lesson to Ethan learned. Now, uh, from this point forward, forward, if he's gonna have to get something shipped online from GameStop, it's gonna only be AAA games, just to play it safe. Well, I was able to do with Fallout um, Ec uh, Echoes, I think. Yeah, that one I was able to do in time. Wait, no, that was for Amazon, I remember. Okay, I was thinking Amazon. Uh, I believe that was Fallout Memorials you told me. Oh, yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah, Fallout Memorials, that was the one. By the way, if you haven't seen that unboxing, click on the card underneath its head. It you... was a past one, by the way. Yeah, uh, and that one was a... By the way, it was used... Ethan was using his phone to show you guys, so it wasn't on the big screen like this one is now. Uh, but, yeah. So, basically, that's what I was talking, uh, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, pretty much, uh, pretty much that. Uh, but Ethan also got Cobain, Vane, which he's been dying to play. I mean, he's not going to give his full opinion, or do a live stream until further notice because of what happened with Dark Souls 3. Right now, I'm enjoying the game. But it's... As I told told him, all oh, that balls. Yes, I know. Let's just say I was expecting to be like Dark No Dark Souls game. It was like a Dark Souls game, but it but it actually difficulty in this one. It started you out easy, but then later on it gets harder. So I'm expecting that path just like Dark Souls or Shekel games. Yeah. Well, not Shekel games, just game, not games. <laughs> yeah, Shekel has to have more than one game. Yet, uh, but either way, like it was a very, fun, uh, it was a, a very difficult experience. If you're wondering if it's going to be live streaming Cobain, here's a quick answer. Nope. Not yet. Uh, for two reasons. One, Ethan doesn't feel ready. And two, okay, so we, so you really want want Ethan to go through Dark Souls, uh, Ethan then plays Dark Souls Three Part Two. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible experience at first, but let's just say I was learning, okay? I was just learning how this is. And I thought, okay, so maybe I was biased, I thought it was going to be easy at first, and then after that goes, really? Okay, now I know what several games are going to be like that. Of course, with Crash 1, I heard it from people, and I played it. This is like a platformer Dark Souls version. <laughs> If you don't have any games against the level designers, just the several levels that made him want to almost rage quit. If it's not touching the Clash One ever again. Yup. Unless he has no choice for Molina to do so. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> other than that, don't expect it's going to be right up there with a couple other games. Yup. Uh, including Five Fantasy Thirteen Part Two. Uh, by the way, speaking of Final Fantasy Fourteen and the PlayStation 3, uh, Ethan's going to be taking that back home with him. Just in case. He even wants to play Lightning Returns, which he still has to beat. Um, and I still have to beat, too. So, yeah. Um, I have seen a little bit of gameplay here and there, but I don't have a full story, so thankfully, yeah. But um, Ethan and I are both uh, Ethan and I are both very excited. Sorry for each other to have Two systems. Ethan's going to be experiencing the PlayStation 3 for the first time, so he can see why that was such a big hullabaloo, because everybody says that the PlayStation 3 had such great games, so if it's going to be investigating that. And I've heard the PSP has some hidden gems. Gems. Oh, of course, that might be a little bit irrelevant later. Later, if it is, if uh, certain games end up coming to uh, a certain platform. Uh, but, um, yeah. Yeah. So, 
yeah, he's bringing that home. And of course, he's going to also be bringing home his Final Fantasy 15 statue. Uh, you're talking about Final Fantasy 7 remake statue, like Cloud and his. What did they call the bike? Some do with. Did. Okay, so it's. Did. I can't say it. Okay, so anyway, you guys have to find out from the box. It will say in the box. Yeah. But basically, Ethan's got to take that big thing home. He's decided that uh, day by day, day he's going to stop bringing the stuff home a little bit at a time. So when he all that, or when he has to officially leave, leave all that's left is what he usually brings home. I might have to daily just to bring some of the stuff at a time. Not all of it, but just daily at a time. Because right now I'm getting close about to leave. So I might have to just daily bring some things back. Exactly, until, like I said, all that's left is what he usually has. His PlayStation 4, his Nintendo Switch, and, uh, that's basically a Nintendo system. <laughs> yeah, well, some clothes have to keep some here. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, so basically that. Not to mention that he also has a whole bunch of other extra stuff that he bought during the pandemic, including a couple extra statues. Seriously? And he says I have a money problem. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, well, both, well, actually both of us do, so just because. Yeah. Our interest, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I had to give an honorable mention to one of the chart makers we made, made, which is our top 10 gaming moments, I would probably say that this one would be... be no, uh, number 10 on that list. Yes. Because uh, uh, this adventure has been so much fun. I've had so much fun with Ethan doing so much. Not to mention, guys, thanks to all the videos that we've been putting out. Our new series, Music Clues Tries, which, which is me basically trying games from uh, all three big services. Services that you can get them from. EA Access, uh, PlayStation Now, and Xbox Game Pass. Which, by the way, speaking of which, which is going to be coming up on uh, say, uh, Game of Save Point. Uh, basically, me and Ethan, uh, Ethan, Ethan had a whole bunch of fun trying some new games that we've never tried before. Some of them were great! Yup, some of them were great that I should have tried in the past. Others were... Garbage. Hot garbage! Yes, there was some hot garbage. <laughs> Even I know that. Uh, but I probably tried the more garbage of the two of us. Seriously. I think there was one garbage game I remember I did not like. It was not my favorite. It was Ventbro, unfortunately. Sorry, guys, for those who are Ventbro fans, but fortunately you are unable to convert Ethan into one. Well, I try my best, okay? Everybody tries their best, too. That's just not for everybody. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, and thanks to all the live streams we've been doing recently. Not to mention all the videos and discussions we've been doing. Doing over all the cancellations and stuff. Yeah. It's been a pretty, pretty long month, to say the least. Yeah. Speaking of which, that reminds me. Reminds me. I gotta get our culture capture out for May. Uh, May, May soon here. Mm -hmm. Uh... Uh, which will, of course, recap the news that happened in May. And there was some pretty big stuff that happened in May, I'm not going to lie. Yep. But I think this is going to be even bigger stuff this month. Yep. In fact, we just got a job, uh, job dropper yesterday. Yes. Uh, for anybody who hasn't paid attention to the news, to give you a hint, if you don't want to know until Friday, which is tomorrow, uh, let's just say a certain guy that I didn't see coming is coming back. Yes. No, it's not just a radio, I wish. Okay, so to, to, to say, fun fact, not going to say what it is, this is a fun fact, okay? If you guys are wondering, well, I'm going to say it. Okay, so anyway, let's just say, shockingly, that I pee, as I learned from MC here, since he's a Sega fan, I know about it just because of it. Let's say, surprisingly, it's before Sonic came around. Anybody who know, knows one of me, uh, what Ethan was referring to should know this one. <laughs> one. If you didn't, 
Well, I wouldn't blame you either because this one is super duper obscure. And it's even rare. It's even rarer than those games I play, by the way. Well, actually, no. It's not even rare. It's actually one of the rare ones. Exactly. Now, it's even more rare than Fire Emblem used to be. That's just coming from me. Yeah, Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem didn't get that many games in the past compared to now. Uh, so, that's saying a lot. Uh, but personally, personally, uh, this one was just like out of the blue. 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 Literally out of the blue. Blue. I was not expecting this at all. Oh, and I'm still not expecting it later. later. E even though I'm not like a hardcore Sega fan, but I am happy for the fans who really dying that series to come back. And I'll, honestly, I am actually happy to get its glory back. I just felt the same way like Fire so that's why I say I give a clap for that for that for that game to come back. Yep. But, like I said, we'll talk about that tomorrow because for those who are waiting to fight it, fight it for a recap, which I don't blame you if you are, uh, because honestly, honestly, uh, that's cool, but it's probably not going to be late until late that night because me and Ethan have to wait until all those events are uh, finished up before we can do it. And then the day after, I got even more. Right. You, yeah, you got to feel bad for, bad, bad for the person doing most of the news. I can never catch a break, can I? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow. Everybody cannot. Uh, but either way, way, so, yeah, that's basically all we wanted to talk about uh, with you guys. Guess how close we are to 2,000 subscribers, by the way. Yeah, those of you who are looking at it, it looks like it says 1,860 subscribers. That's because it's not accurate enough. <gasps> if you go by YouTube Studio, like I've been daily checking... That looks accurate than that. Exactly, exactly. The true number, and I say true number, is actually speaking of which, let me get YouTube Studio up. I, I don't might do that too for my phone, just to double check. <laughs> Sorry, guys, guys, guys. I have a sense YouTube hit the numbers. There we go. I see it. Okay, okay. So our current total number is one thousand eight hundred. And 62 subscribers. To That's the, correct. It's accurate. To the Go Ga Gamers channel. We've got 21 extra in the last, last 28 days. So literally these last couple uh this last month, we earned 21 extra subscribers. That is a lot. It is. A lot. So I want to thank to all the people who have been subscribed to us, thank you for staying subscribed to us. And for those new people coming, hey, welcome to the Go Gamers. Yep, so for right now, if those of you are wondering, how is Go Gamers unlocked? For the time being, it's not as high as the main channel. Le hear me out. It's because we're starting to actually put some daily videos in there with mature games. So don't worry, no worries. There's gonna be more than that. Just don't expect it every day thing. Yeah, like our Go Gamers channel because uh, we uh, the Go Gamers Unlocked is only for like I said anything super mature, sure, sure. Anything that's under mature, pretty much under mature or mature, but not really all that much. Much is pretty much still gonna be covered over here. Yeah, like if it's just teen games like Final Fantasy VII Remake, it, despite there is swears in there. We can still put it in there because it's tea. Yeah. Or if it's like Persona 5, but it's not really all that bad. Yeah, we're still going to cover it. It's over. confusing. I know, guys. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get why they give them those ratings, really. Really. But, hey. Because maybe it's too bloody and all that. I get that reason. But to us, not really. I'm used to that already. So, there's not going to be that much coverage, unfortunately. We will try to branch out to other series eventually, eventually, but me and Ethan are super reluctant on trying to call duty, duty, so that one's already out the window. Well, I'd rather just go by the past games, by the way, if I daily want to just do it for the channel. Don't say the modern days. We could do it just our tries. That's all right. Yeah, total, totally. But if you're expecting me and Ethan to straight up buy some of these games... Old your horses. Forget it. I just want to go by the past like I read as a kid. Yeah, me too. Which is fair. But yeah, that's mainly what we're going to be doing for that. So, yeah. I want to thank to all the subscribers who have subscribed to the Go Gamers. 
in the past, in the present, in the future, future too, too. Thank you guys. Um, I am super excited to almost reach 2,000 subscribers. I wish uh, M. Lola was here, here with us, but unfortunately, this, uh, like I said, there's been some complications on her end, and so we re she's really not ready to take back the leadership role. Well, but hopefully she will be soon. Yes. Soon, soon. I keep checking my Skype daily, da uh, daily as much, much, and I hope that she can t take the lead ship ball back. But like I said, there's just been some complications with her, her on her end, so hopefully she'll be back soon. Uh, but um, I will let you guys know, no ASAP when she is uh, officially back in leadership ball, ball, ball for the Go Gamers. Uh, but until the time being. Be, uh, being, yeah, it's still me. Me and Ethan. Uh, but, again, I still can't believe it. Uh, Long Adventure is coming to an end. Yeah, I know. <sighs> well, I guess we better close out this video. Probably for one of the very last times times to get, a, get it until tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, guys. That's really all for now. Mm-hmm. In case we don't, in case we somehow don't get around to save point tomorrow, this is Yell Chili Music Clues. Eat in, sign you For the last time, together. Together for a while. And y'all have a nice gaming day. I right, in this time. Uh, alright. <laughs> See ya.